Hello and welcome to my channel Easy Investing Income. Would you like to be able to retire early to earn some extra income? Well, I'm going to show you how I've been able to add an extra $1,500 a month um, to my current income. I'm going to share with you what, what I've done over the last six months with selling options and that you can actually do it in a safe and secure way and it's by no means as risky as a lot of people want you to believe or a lot of professional people want you to believe. So that being said, I do want to remind everyone that I am a hobbyist. I'm by no means a financial planner. I'm just doing something I enjoy and I'm hoping to leave a legacy for my son so he can learn how, I, how to invest the correct way. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Um, First thing I'd like to do is just minimize this screen. And again, I'm the focus for today is to talk about what I've done and that you can do it too. So um, that you can retire early with income uh, from selling options using safe, safe strategies. So that being said, let's, okay, there we go. So, in the last six months, I decided to put a strategy together <clears throat> in the way I actually sold options. I've always been an option seller, so in the past, I always sold covered calls primarily and made probably between one and two thousand extra a year. But I wanted to take it to the next level and really learn, and I'm still learning, so I'm, I'm actually doing, continuing to do this month by month and share my uh, progress on the associated site with this that the site that's associated with this channel which is easy investing income it'll be down below um, you know so you if you want to actually see my trades each month you can go out there and I also have done other blo uh, blog posts related to different things um, I primarily trade on Schwab so I also have done a lot of posts and videos related to working with Schwab so everything you'll see will be related to working on Schwab. Currently, I haven't changed my platform. I found I've been able to do what I need to do on Schwab. Um, so what, what I've been able to, to do is, is I had 99 trades over the last six months. I earned $9,227, which equates to a little bit over $1,500 a month. So I've been, I originally started thinking, wow, if I could earn $1,000 a month, that would be great. And then within the first month, I, I earned a thousand, and so I changed changed it, and I actually upped what I was trying to make to fifteen hundred. So I only had one con contract that was assigned, and that was um, <clears throat> a cover call that got that got assigned. Again, when when I do any of these trades, and we'll talk about my strategy next, I, I typically I'm okay with things being assigned. I prefer them not to be. But in this instance, um, I was okay with it being assigned. And assigned means that um, at the end of the contract, the strike price of the contract was what's called in the money, meaning the person, um, it made sense for them to actually buy the shares from me. And th this was a covered call that actually got assigned. Um, so one out of 99, that's not bad. Also, I wanted to mention I started with two accounts with 525k at the beginning of the six months and at the end of the six months I had over 600,000 in that account. I also live off those two accounts, not live off them, but well pretty nearly live off them. I get my dividends through those two accounts and then I also all the uh, premiums from the options are actually in those accounts. So I have automatic withdrawal every month from, from those two accounts into my regular banking account. Um, also, those accounts have my emergency fund. Um, I keep a very big emergency fund, uh, partially because of trading and wanting to do what's called cash secured puts. Um, but I, I keep it at least two years of living expense and I try to keep it um, with around that level. That way, if the market has a significant correction, then um, I, can, I can live through it and not not have to panic sell or do something that I don't want to do. I average 17 trades a month and spend only a couple hours each week. Um, and I, 
I can't express how shocked I've been that I've been able to do these trades and I do a lot of the same trades over and over again. So if I sell Coca-Cola or I sell ExxonMobil, um, you know, or uh, what are some of the other ones, Prudential, um, I can redo those those contracts each month or every other month, you know, so I'm, I'm only trading about 15, 15 or 20 stocks. I'm not going all over the place and I'm primarily sticking with less risky stocks, more value stocks that pay good dividends. Um, I, you know, so I, I try to keep things simple. I don't try to make it any more complex than I need to. So let's go on to the next slide. So here, here are the actual guidelines. I don't know if you can read that, so I'll move this over here, trading guidelines. So what I wanted to do different is I wanted to actually have guidelines and I wanted to track my progress and, and see how I, how I was doing. So here's the initial guidelines that I've, I've used and I've pretty much stuck to these. Not, it's, these aren't hard and fast rules. These are, these are guidelines. So in some cases, I, I don't always stick to them, but I, I'm, for, my, for the most part, I do. So the first is 10% out of the money. So if I'm looking at selling a cash secured put or a covered call, um, I try to, to get about 10% out of the money. What that means, I'll give you an example of Coca-Cola. If it's 50, then I, I try to do a covered call around 55. Um, and I also, for a put, you kind of look at it the other way. So if I wanted to buy Coca-Cola and it's trading at 50, then I would try to um, sell the put, the strike price for the put around 45. Uh, that's just something I decided to do early on. I also try to avoid assignment, uh, especially with the covered calls because most of my investments pay high dividends. I end up earning between three and 4% um, on my investments in my two accounts. Um, and I also do a 30 to 60 day expiration. This is, isn't always the case. Sometimes I go out a little bit more and sometimes I'll do what's called leaps and I'll go quite far out, especially with Coca-Cola because I, I own quite a few shares in Coca-Cola because I inherited them. Um, so it's another way for me to make cash because I have a very low basis in them. So anything I sell, you know, I, I have a lot of taxes to pay on them. I also close a contract if I can, if I can make good premium. Um, you'll notice in my blogs that if I can get 80, 90% uh, premium, so say I, I sell an option, I get, you know, a dollar, which translates into $100 for that contract, and I can maybe sell it to close or buy, buy it to close the option, then I would do that, say, if it got to three, four, five, maybe even $10, depending on the riskiness of, of that contract, I, I will close them. Um, that's something I did not know before I started this process. And I'd probably close a third of my contracts. Um, a lot of them expire, and if I think they're gonna expire, then I won't close them. Um, because I'm, I'm just wasting money in that case. Uh, premium, I'm looking at 50 to $100 per trade. Um, I've been able to keep it closer to 100 and I, I'm actually trying to keep it over 100 if I can so I can do fewer trades. Um, you know, at $100 and you're trying to make 1500 that's only 15 trades a month. Um, Again, mostly I do value companies. I will do a little bit of growth companies. I've done a little bit of Apple just because there was a fairly good correction with Apple a while back. And I, I sold some puts related to trying to pick it up at a cheap price. Unfortunately, it shot back up. And so they expired, but I wasn't able to, to get um, any of those Apple shares. Um, and again, I, I look a lot at it. Anything I, I want to own, any of the puts I do, or most of the puts I do, I want to. I want to. If I want to own the stocks, usually they they pay pretty good dividends. I like to look at the dividend aristocrats, and those are companies that have consistently increased their dividends over many many years, 20, 30 years, and they're they're usually the cream of the crop and some of the best companies out there. But they're typically big value companies. Um, I also like to, to use Delta, and it's primarily the only Delta that, that I use. I, I like to keep things simple. So I try to use a Delta of a 20 Delta, which is like an 80% probability that the stock will expire out of the money, meaning it would 
um, they wouldn't be assigned. So that being said, I'm, I have completed my first six months. I'm in my second six months of going through this process. And I am going to change a few more things. So I will have additional videos to talk about some of the other things. You know, one, I'm, I'm looking at switching from 1500 a month and try to earn 2000 a month. And I'm trying to do that by doing multiple shares because sometimes I can find real good premium. And if I do two contracts versus one, then I can, I can vastly increase the, the value of those uh, trades. So I will probably do more videos and more blog posts on that. Um, my goal here is to teach people so you can learn to do this yourself too. So, um, and then I also like to mention that um, I have an associated site that goes along with this. Um, let's see, let's, I think I have it up. Yep. Here we go. So I've got easyinvestingincome.com. I'll have a link below again um, that I share pretty much monthly what I'm doing. I also share some details on how to work with Schwab and then, you know, what my goals are, what my plans are. I do have a mailing list. Please subscribe. Um, also subscribe below if you like, if you want to. Um, uh, the more subscribers, the more that the YouTube algorithm will will broadcast this out so more people are aware of it. And also hit the like button below and hit notification so you can be kept aware of any of these updates. So I've got the blog, I've got the YouTube videos. I'm also doing a Patreon page that you can sign up for. You can see there's a link to it here and I'll again include a link for Patreon. What I'm doing with Patreon is I'm gonna relate, release videos that won't necessarily be on YouTube, plus I'm gonna release early into Patreon. Um, plus, I'm going to set up uh, live streaming events that you can sign up for. I'm keeping it very reasonable. Um, the basic plan, I think, is is ten dollars, and that's where you get you get all this information, the videos early, the blog posts early, some worksheets and different things that I use. And then for twenty five dollars a month, um, I've got the more advanced that will actually have a live event once a week, um, where I think it's a on Tuesdays uh, for an hour and a half where we can actually talk about the trades and what, what I'm doing and I can answer any questions you might have. So um, that, that's about it. I, I want to reemphasize that doing these trades is, is not as risky as you you might think and what you'll be led, you know, the, the media likes to say that this is actually very, very risky. And there are some traders who are doing some crazy risky trades. I'm not one of those. I keep everything really simple. Um, let me actually show you what the spreadsheet looks like that I'm using. So here you can see all my different trades, um, you know, and I kept pretty good detail. That, that's that been another game changer. This is my old spreadsheet. Um, updating it to a more advanced spreadsheet. And again, that'll be on Patreon for easy access. And you can see all the different trades and you can, um, you, you can see I, I, most of them I did around the Delta 0.20, you know, so I didn't do anything that risky. I kept track of them. You can see here's the actual 99 uh, trades and you can see the, the total and then how much it was per month. Um, you can actually, if I scroll up here, you can see how I did each month. So the first month I did this, I earned 1100, then I went to 1800, 1300, 1500, 1500, 1800. Um, you know, and like I said, it, it, I, I didn't spend a whole lot of time on all these trades together. I may have spent 10, 15 hours for six months of of trading, you know, it's a very, very li limited time. Um, so if you have any questions or you want to learn more, um, you can subscribe, you can go to my blog posts or my blog and, and actually submit a question or a comment to any of the, the different blogs. So thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this and um, good luck. And I, I, I hope you come back and tune in again. Thank you. Have a great day.